So what we're now going to look at is an example of updating our PHP configuration file, saving that, and then going ahead and restarting our server for them changes to take effect. And we're going to look at a very basic example of turning displaying errors on. I wouldn't recommend you do this because then in production, if there are any errors, you're going to reveal uh, potentially information about your server and files that you're not going to want other people to see. But we'll take this as an example just so you know how to do it uh, and then you can go ahead and update it as you need. So the first thing I'm going to do then is head over to FileZilla and inside of my HTML directory we have my index.php file which we can see just here and I'm going to go ahead and edit this. So let's go ahead and open this up and what we're going to do then is just get rid of say the last, the, the trailing um, semicolon and that's going to cause an error. So let's uh, re-upload this file. And we'll go ahead and refresh this and you can see that we see nothing. Now we should be seeing an error here. So we can go ahead and fix that out in our php.ini file. Again, I want to stress the importance of not turning display errors on when you are hosting a site because again, that could uh, lead to some security issues. So let's take a look at how we can update this then. Over in FileZilla, what we can do is we can head over to our root directory uh, just up here. We can go into Etsy, PHP 5, Apache 2, and we saw earlier in the series, this is where our php.ini configuration is. So let's go ahead and edit this file. So let's open this up, and here it is. So I happen to be on the line where display errors is, but obviously you can update any settings in this file at all, and uh, you can go ahead and pretty much do what you want. So display errors is currently off, so I'm gonna turn this on. So I'm gonna save this file, and that's prompted me to re-upload this to my server. So I'm going to hit yes. So that's uploaded. When I go ahead and refresh, nothing happens. And that's because our new settings haven't taken effect yet. What we need to do is restart Apache. So that reloads in the php.ini configuration file. And uh, we'll see the updated uh, settings. So I'm going to open my terminal. I'm currently logged in. I'm SSH'd over into my server. And I'm going to say service Apache 2 restart. I'm going to hit enter. That's going to restart the web server. When we go back and hit refresh, we get the error out. So that is how we uh, update our php.ini file, restart our server so our new configuration settings take effect.